New Leaf Child Care and Learning Center. It is the mission of New Leaf Church. We are the daycare. We're the only operating, functioning daycare center in the city of Conneaut. And this is our school age room. Well, school kids, age is from kindergarten through the age of 14. So they come here like uh, to wait for their parents to pick them up because they work later than the school gets out or something yes. like that? They come here to get on a bus before school. We have buses from Gateway in Middle School and Lakeshore. And they come here after school from Gateway and Middle School and Lakeshore. They work on their homework. We have about 27, 28 kids on a daily basis. They do, after they do homework, they do projects. They get a snack. Last week they were learning about different countries because they wanted to learn about different countries. So they did Ireland and England and um, Egypt. And I can't remember the other two countries. They've done, they love science experiments. There are lots of different science experiments, things around here. Oh. And they have lesson plan. The teacher has lesson plans and everything. We work with the school to see if there is, like, especially with that third grade guarantee oh. reading test. Yeah. So we work on reading and writing with the kids, math, all different kinds of things in here. They really like doing, they, the teacher glued crayons along the top and then they used a blow dryer to see what it does It's when they were doing their art week. Ah. It made a little mosaic thing. The organ that is under here was donated to us from Raisin's Funeral Home. So we have a couple kids that are taking piano that are now wanting to learn organ, so they play the organ every now and then. This was the uh, Woodland Clinic, and before that, Dr. Parks was out here. When the church bought the property, they tore all the walls down. There is only, right down there, you will say the main office is the only actual walls that remained. Um, they divided it out with the architecture, um, and worked on spaces for us, as well as the church. Mm -hmm. It was a little, made the rooms a little different. At one point, um, during that phase, they had a little uh, trencher, a, a backhoe kind of thing in here because they had to put all new plumbing in because we have bathrooms in every room. Right. And that wasn't mm -hmm. in the doctor's office. <laughs> But uh, it, it's made a beautiful space out here. The men, the rainbow on the floor, the volunteers that did all, uh, you know, 80, 99% of the work out here, the men decided that the kids needed a rainbow. So every room has a different color that goes off, which helps with parents, we can, we can say. Just follow the floor to the red room, the green room, the blue room, the yellow, and so on, and they like it. Yes, so this was done with almost all volunteer labor. Sure. It was almost all, I, it, 95 to 99% was all volunteer labor. This is a preschool room, one of our younger preschool rooms. It's, we call it the Dr. Seuss room, and you'll see why in a moment. The teacher in here is Tiffany Kreps. She has, <laughs> she has a bachelor's degree in early childhood. Um, this is cloud dough. Yes. And they're digging for their letters in cloud dough. The reason we have it is a Dr. Seuss room, if you oh, can nice. see. Um, eat. The rooms have murals on them. This is the red, white, and blue room, the patriotic room. We just wanted something bold and bright, and the kids love it. It's a preschool room, and this room holds 15 children. Um, this is the room that they transition, get ready to transition into kindergarten. They work on all of their skills to go to kindergarten, and the teachers have met with the kindergarten and preschool teachers down at uh, Lakeshore to find out what is going to be needed to go into kindergarten. 
other than just the basics of writing, <laughs> writing my granddaughter, no. <laughs> writing their names and knowing their numbers. They have to know a lot of um, personal care, like how to, in wintertime, their boots go on after they put their snow pants on, and their snow pants on go on before they put their coat on, and mittens are the last thing to go on. Um, sight words, because they're expected to read when they leave um, kindergarten yeah, we're, we're up to, I think it's a C, a level C through the grade the no. thing. So we work on a lot of that with the kids in here. A lot of these kids also that are in this room go to the, prime, the preschool. The bus comes and picks them up and takes them down to the preschool down at Lakeshore. Oh, okay. And then they bring them back. They'll bring a group back and then they, they'll at lunchtime and then they'll bring another one back. We take care of them from six weeks old on up. They're in this room until they're 18 months old and then they go to the toddler room. <coughs> this is our resource room where some of our leftover supplies, um, teaching curriculum, extra books, some of our extra books are here, our laminator. Um, this building, one of the things that's different about this building than up at the church is that we have a security system. You can't get in this building unless you are buzzed in if we don't know you. Parents have ID cards that they can swipe by and it'll open the doors automatically. It just it gives us another step of security that no one's going to come in and bother the children mm -hmm. or any of the parents or staff that are here. I think that's one of the major things that this, the parents have really liked having is that there is a security system. Is that a requirement now? Or is it, I know it's a good idea. but No, it's not a requirement. It's a, an expense that we and the church agreed that would be a benefit, especially you know, some of the parents were like, oh, this is right out by Route 90 and everything. But it's just something that we wanted to put in to make more secure because mm -hmm. we care about the families and the children that we take care of.